Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics, my Dancer Straight Class Challenge, or Solo Class Challenge, I'm not sure what the S stands for, only using dancers. I actually, this video is going to be going double speed because I recorded it and then realized I didn't record my voice, typical of me. <laughs> And if you notice there, what I did do is I gave Goofer Vag the blind knife, just like I said it would do at the end of the last video. And now we're going to go into the Thieves' Fort. And this battle was kind of unnecessarily long on my part, because I just wanted to test out some of my dancing abilities and see what they entail. And so I used all Nameless Dance, which causes status effects on the enemy. And I used it, and it was actually really effective, and it might give me an effective strategy for later in the game. The 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 computers essentially couldn't move because they were constantly confused, poisoned, frogged even, or stopped or slowed. So I'm thinking that later in the game I can probably use a mixture of like two nameless dances and two was in a bus. So two people are slowing them down and then two people are causing damage. And that might be effective. Uh, and then I also used last song and last dance. Um, what you're going to see here is I'm trying to jump in this this water, but in this game, since that water, you saw it submerged me up to my eyes, it's deep water. In deep water, you can't act, and if I can't act, I can't dance in deep water either. So no underwater dancing for these assassin pole dancers. <clears throat> and you'll also see that the white mage, I mean, you might have noticed maybe 30 seconds ago, the white mage cast magic on me. And magic in this game, you can either target the unit, and it will follow that unit, or you can target the ground, and it will attack that ground. So I moved the dancer that had been targeted away from my other dancers and I also moved my other dancers off the ground that it was on to ensure that it only hits at most one target or no targets. And then you're going to see that I'm healing here to heal my allies and then later on I'm going to use last song. Last song when it does is it automatically quicks all of my team. What I found out in this match is that it isn't a hundred percent accurate which means it's not going to be very useful to me because it's going to rely on luck. And Last Dance is the exact opposite. It lowers the enemy's time to zero. And I'm going to have to use them probably on boss battles if it works on bosses, but I'm also going to have to basically rely on luck that it hits enough times for me to finish the battle. So I'm probably you're probably going to see me using mainly a combination of Nameless Dance and Wazina Bus throughout this game. Because if, I mean, you, I could drain the magic out of people, but if I can silence them in one or two dances, who wants to drain all their magic out? And then for Ramza, you're going to mainly see him using Battle Dance and Life Song, or Battle Song and Life Song. <clears throat> so like I said, this is kind of an unnecessarily long battle. As we can see, this is Maluda here, so this is kind of like a mini boss battle. That knight who's sticking out in the front, who's a woman, she's the only person I have to kill to finish this battle. And I can get my guests as much experience as I want um, by using these nameless dances. So that might help in Chapter 3 if I have guests. But after Chapter 1, the guests aren't going to be... They're going to be fewer and farther between. At the beginning of Chapter 2, I'll have them for a while, and then about halfway through Chapter 2, I lose them until basically they become, every once in a while, I'll have one. I'm going to go ahead and finish up Chapter 1 in this guide or in this episode, just because chapter one was extremely easy for these dancers. I just sped through every single battle. They kill everything in chapter one. Um, as you can see in this game, if you are sleeped or if you are frogged, you do double damage. If you're both asleep and frogged, I can do quadruple damage. So I'm going to call, I'm going to be hitting some, some big damage in this, this battle here, since I'm level five and hitting for 90 is, is a lot. As we can see, a lot of these dances, the ones that don't cause damage, are essentially working off of luck. I hope that they get a status ailment. I hope that it resets their, their timer. So there might be a lot of frustration coming out later on. Hopefully I won't have too much frustration. Hopefully I won't have too hard of a time getting through. Like I said, um, you're supposed to, I think, beat the game by the time you're level 70 or 75. If I'm having issues, I'm going to level up to level 99. I don't really... I think it would be more worthwhile just to level up, because leveling up doesn't take that long compared to me being repeatedly frustrated by the level 50s bosses at the end of the game. 
With any RPG, you're going to want to save this one pretty often. Especially when you go into places and get into a series of battles, because you never know when you'll save and then get stuck on the second or third battle. You'll see those. Um, <clears throat> I had no problems with Chapter 1. Basically, what I found out is that, in theory, you think things are going to be difficult, and you'll hear this again in the next video. But then in practice, when you actually do them, you find out it's a heck of a lot easier than you thought it was going to be. And you'll also see throughout this video why Algus is a douchebag, and why I said that in the last video. See, Auto Potion is so good because they're healing themselves for any damage they get done, not to mention the fact that he's healing too. Keep using that nameless dance repeatedly because, you know, like I said, dancing is by far superior to karate. Period. There's no questions asked there. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've got some mucus in the back of my throat that's kind of annoying. Nameless dance, nameless dance, nameless dance. healing my allies. Now we're going to see me switch to Cheer Song, which is going to raise my speed. I can see that being useful. And I might actually, that might be another dance that gets used, the one that lowers their speed, because with as many dancers as I'm going to have, if I lower their speed down to one, I'm essentially going to have infinite moves compared to their moves. That would make for an easy training procedure if I just slow everyone down before they get to me and then kill them all. I'd get lots of lots of experience really easily. And like I said, this battle is unnecessarily long. I made it so. Uh, that's a, that has to do with dancers and it has to do with me getting extra experience, so it's a good part of it. Getting a lot of experience even though I'm not really doing much. It's pretty much automated. And so here, she since she's a commoner, she's saying, well, you know, why is it fair for you guys to have food in this famine, but we don't? And he says, it's the will of heaven that you guys are being killed. And then he calls her an animal for being a commoner, just for being a commoner. And then when she says, well, God didn't want it like this, God would want us all to have food because we're all humans, he says, no, you're not a human, you're an animal. <laughs> you can see where this game has some political twists in it. Uh, the nobles really look down on the commoners, especially Algus, the giantest douchebag who ever lived. He thinks that he's entitled to everything over top of other humans just because of commoners. Did I just see a last dance? I believe last dance might have just gone off. If not, it's going to come off soon. You can see I'm going for the boxes now. After three turns, you either turn into a crystal or you turn into a box where I can get their equipment. teleporting around, punching him for 80 damage. 80 damage is quite a bit. We saw 96 earlier, or we're going to see 96 or 95 eventually. 95 is a lot of damage for level 4 in this game. When the maximum is 999 damage, yeah. And the max health you're ever going to see on a human is going to be around six to 700, maybe. And that's at level 99 with really good equips, which we're never going to see in the story mode. So unless I decide to do the deep dungeon, you're not going to see that. And I use Confusion on Maluda. As we continue, speeding up my allies so that they can get the battle done with a little bit quicker. Because they sure are taking their damn time to win here. As you can see, this, this Nameless Dance is actually really effective. It's She's constantly stopped and slowed and darknessed so she can't hit anybody. And silenced and poisoned so when she does move she hurts herself. It's slow, but effective. Much like I feel this entire dancer class challenge will be. She stopped and she slowed, so she gets moved slower and she doesn't move at all. And here is going to be the end, I believe. Yes, boom, she is dead. And it's all over. Except for we spare her life, as we see here in this end video. Go ahead, just kill us. I don't want to kill you, just because you're a commoner. Except for douchebag Algus, kill her now, kill her now, kill her now, kill her now, kill her now.
Actually, Algus probably has his, his his head on screwed on right. I probably have my head screwed on wrong. It's a video game. Kill everybody. That's the best way to do it. If I was ever going to be a bad guy, there would be no half-assing evil. Period. You don't take Superman's girlfriend hostage. No, you just kill her. It's going to piss him off three times as much, and he can never, ever get her back. Take away everything that they love, and take it away permanently. Not temporarily. Alright guys, skipping to all that story, we're going to go on to the next sto battle and see what happens. I think I'm just going to use Wizina Bus and get this one over pretty quickly. Um, it's kind of early in the morning. I just want to go to sleep. <clears throat> it's Trap and Goofer Badge. I should probably just leave them as far back as possible. That way... I don't know, it looks like I get to do m my entire team this time of who I want. <clears throat> Not cut down because the guests... believe in this battle we're fighting yeah we're fighting Melodal again or not Melodal Meluda we're fighting her again it's blocked here too there's no way out really seriously just go past I don't want to fight you either if we get caught we'll be executed yeah no but seriously I don't care I'm not going to catch you I'm going to dance you to death I'm going to get all these girls up on a pole and dance you to death This game actually has like a really in-depth story, <laughs> but we're going to skip that part and we're just going to do the killing and the stupid commentary for me. Oh, those wizards are going to die really fast. Knights aren't going to die so quickly. Mm. Should I throw a nameless dance in there just to give them some status effects? I don't know. Um... I think I'm going to throw They are already ridiculously close to me. I think I uh, I think I'm going to do 4 and 1. 4 was in a bus. And for him I'm going to give everybody speed. Speed's important. Wait, no. Oh, I should have done. <clears throat> I didn't think about it. Stupid of me. Let's see if I can get out in the water this time. I can on this map. Good. So there's three. Uh, I didn't think about it. Uh, his, his other thing raises physical attack, and physical attack is what dancers' abilities are based off of. So if I raise their physical attack, we'll do more damage. So I should have had him... I should have Ramza raise their physical attack so they do more damage with was in a bus then instead of raising their speed because speed's pointless because it's only the the speed it's only the charge of their spell that matters so yeah actually it's more important <coughs> I may sw I'll switch him next time it's going to take a while to wear all these people down <clears throat> Take that time, Mage Beach. Oh, they look at them all shuddering because they just know they're going to get hurt. That's helpful to Delita, who's just going to be... I mean, his only point is to slow them down. He's not really here to do a ton of damage or anything. See, and that's exactly why that's useful. Silence just ruins those mages. Sleeps takes two people essentially out of the battle unless their teammates hit them until I decide that I want to fight them. So it just makes the fight a ton more easier. I mean, then stop just makes it so they can't even move at all. It makes the fight a ton easier on me. See, I keep like thinking I'm going to have a hard time because I'm like, oh, I'm only doing 8 damage, and these guys look really close to me. And then I do it. Like, in theory, you think it's hard. But in practice, it's really not. 
And that's, that's how you can make so many things in your life. It's like, things that you think are hard don't have to necessarily be hard. If you just try them, and you should just try it and see if it works. <laughs> just give it a try, and like, you might surprise yourself how easy it is. I mean, look, he's almost dead. I, I didn't even need to move them. Like, they're not even going to get close to us now. So he actually healed, he got healed from getting hit. He got hit and then he healed himself. So he got healed from getting hit. You're going to cast haste, that person's going to cast haste on some, and then Maluda, who's in the back, is stopped, so she can't even, she can't even move at all. And this person's going to heal themselves, but at, at what ends? I'm doing more damage than that, just by doing nothing. Here we go, here's a round of eight threes, you know, 24 damage. 24 damage is a big deal at this time. And this is just to slow people down with stuff like darkness and confusion. And this is to increase my power. These miss too? Oh man. <clears throat> the fact that those miss is like so... It makes me so sad inside that those miss people. Oh well. You see how that Im immediately caused them to do two more damage? The people who did get the one damage up? See, it obviously missed on her. She only did eight damage. But that's... It's huge, like, two damage, but once it gets enacted, you know, three times every four turns, that's big. So yeah, Battle Song with Lizina Bus is actually really useful. She's up a stop, but, again, at, at what means? She's only prolonging her death. She healed him. I don't even know what she moves she did. Throw. It looked like she, like, dashed and hit him. I didn't think knights had any moves like that. Good job. At least you dodged hers as well. You say revolution. Is revolution necessary? Is it our fault? Are we making you suffer? What's the problem? Don't play so naive, Kiv. Oh yeah, ignorance itself is a crime. I'm actually I'm actually agreeing with her here. Seriously. That kid is so stupid. Which is me, but he's so stupid. He deserves to be hit in the face with a sword. Maybe it'll smarten him up. This is well. This one, I think, she got two in a row, so she should be doing eleven or twelve damage. Eleven damage. <clears throat> it's about to be over. No experience for you. Oh, we only got slow, but it's over now. So you see, that was a really quick battle. <laughs> well, let's see the time, maybe 10 minutes? So I, uh, I don't really have time to go ahead for another one, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for the night, and then I'll add some more. I think I'll add another fight or two to this video before I compile them together tomorrow. Ooh, I get silk robe. I don't know if that's, I don't even know if dancers can wear silk robes. Oh, I wish they can. Oh, I hope dancers can roll, wear silk robes. Not ability. Item. Oh, come on. Dancers can't... That's just depressing. My dancers can't even... That looks like a silk robe that they're wearing right now. <sighs> Alright, well, see you next time. That's an episode of Let's Play. Go ahead and get ready to go into the next battle. <clears throat> I believe this is the battle where I have to fight Wygraf, which means it might be the first challenge. I think I, I think this is going to be the first challenge I actually run into on this run, so I might have to reset this one a couple of times. Let's see. 
just saving up on my dancers, I believe. So if I just look at the items, I don't know if there's any better items that I can have for this battle right now. Fubu Hand Plains. Yep, this is going to be the first battle with Flygraph. So let's make sure we save. Eh, let's do a quick save. Now let's jump into this battle. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to start back up now that the cutscene is over, and we're going to go into this battle. I'm starting in the back row so I can start far away from, as far away from Wygraph as I can. I think this is going to be the first challenge. The next battle is going to be extraordinarily easily compared to this battle. So, I'm trying to think the best strategy for this battle. I'm not exactly sure right now. Um, Wygraf is ex he's really strong, especially for this early in the game, and basically he's pissed because we just killed his sister, Maluda, in the last battle. So, we're going to see. Hopefully Delighted can hold him off long enough that I can do damage. I'm just going gonna, gonna to look at his health first, and then I'm going to decide what I want to do. And he's asking for a sister back. Okay. Let's get this battle underway. <clears throat> he's at 154 health. If I'm going to do, like, 15 damage a pop. See, he does 50 damage. Like, he'll, he'll kill any of my people in two hits. 150 damage. Actually, I can kill him with Wazinibus. Actually, this might this might be a lot more difficult. Like I was saying with the last battle, sometimes if you just try something, it's a lot easier than you think it is. And I'm, this battle might be one of those battles. <clears throat> 150 is, is only two... Well, I guess I have three, so it's like three rounds of Wazinibus. It's not that bad. So... This one might be easier than I thought it was going to be. And then I'm just really going to just going to hide, run away. I said that was my strategy for this whole game pretty much, at least for the first couple of chapters. So we're going to heal up our ally there since he got hit by a 50. I figure if I keep healing him, he can be able to tank longer. And that's what I want him to do, is I want him to tank while everyone else kills. So anyways, we're going <clears> to... <throat> I'm the shit out of this battle, because this guy's weak as hell. And dancers... I'm telling you, dude, dancing's better than karate. Dancing kills, dude. If you know how to dance, you just do, like, a reverse... Um, <clears throat> I don't know, reverse spindle kick into holding their neck in between your thighs and smashing their brain out like Chuck Norris does. Or just roundhouse kick them in the face. That's not karate, it's dancing. Now the other thing I could have done is I could have had Ramza do his brave song, which would increase their damage. Which actually might not have been that bad of an idea. I might, I might need to do that in the future, but for now. This actually gets me more experience by doing less damage, so I'm totally fine with this. And you see, I've already been through two cycles. Another two cycles, and they'll be dead. So if they don't kill me on the next turn, which they're not going to, they're dead. Simple battle. See, I thought it was going to be a challenge, but it's not. Did you guys hear about how Urban Meyer got in trouble with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and I forget what the T stands for, maybe transsexual group, um, because he likes to humiliate players by making them wear lavender if they do bad in practice? And then I read this article where this guy was just like, he was bad. He was like, oh my god, why did Urban Meyer give in? This is just, people are just complaining for no reason, blah, blah, blah. Really, because you're unable to empathize with anyone else, and because you don't find it offensive, even if someone else finds it offensive, just because you don't find it offensive, that means it's not offensive. That dude is a complete dick. Bruce Jacobs, or whatever his name was, seriously. If for whatever reason you somehow listen to this once upon a time, dude, 
your inability to empathize with others is what's going to make you a freaking bigot for the rest of your life. <laughs> Baluda, why did I kill her? I didn't want to kill her. You crazy. Can we talk? Dude, this dude's going to kill us. He going to talk. Come on, let's get this battle over with. Bird. Wildgrass about to get birdied. Oh no. That might dead me. Oh, for God. <clears throat> See, now I'm probably going to have to reset this battle just because he got lucky and deaded me. Unbelievable. I'm about to just have my dancers come out and stab him pokey pokey to death. That's ridiculous. AI gets lucky random number, draws the dead, and kills me. And Delight is not doing his job of tanking for me. Yeah, sorry I make those noises. I know it's really annoying when I listen to it on the video, but I just can't really think of anything to say other than how disappointed I am in the fact that his crush bunch just deaded me <laughs> by pure luck, I guess. Let me move the mic. I can hear the... I can hear my breathing affecting the microphone quality of this conversation. See, now everyone else is dead except for Wygraf, because Wygraf is amazing. Look at this. He's down to 6 health. But I'm probably not going to... He's going to be able to get Coco cured by Boko there. Boko the Coco. Chocobo. Yeah, Dice Dark doesn't really have a... He, he's trying to defend his brother, but his brother doesn't have a sense of honor at all. I could try and punch him, but I, don't, I don't, just don't see him doing any damage. One damage. That is a joke. Oh, look, we did kill half their team. So half their team's down. I might... Uh, well, see, the thing is, I still have to win before that other person gets three turns, otherwise they're going to crystallize or boxalize. I wonder which one died. We can make fun of them. We can keep a death count. Let me get a post-it note here so we can keep a death count throughout this Let's Play. Red for dead. Red dead. Redemption. And he runs back... Oh, my God. You are my saving grace. You just, oh my gosh. He is my saving grace right there. He actually did help. I could stab this guy with a knife, or I could keep dancing. Since he just revived, I'm just going to wait here and dance. <laughs> he just saved it. Uh-oh, don't, don't dead me. If you dead me, I'll be very angry. That time it didn't dead me. Still a lot of damage, but nothing I can't get over. And now I'm going to increase my damage across the board. Or I'm not going to increase my damage at all because they're all going to miss. Goofer Veg. Ramza. Should probably leave some space so I can do a good list. Oh, yeah, just look at this. This is ridiculous. This is so easy. Like, I don't have to do anything. See? And he's out of here. So, even though it looked like I was going to be worried for a second, not worried. Simple. Simple battle. It's all over. You died. 
Well, that's another battle completed. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off until next battle. In a second. In case you guys want to see this talking. He just warps out of there, you know. Because that's that's realistic. If you ever get in a conversation, you can't win. Like, one versus five. Just warp out. You know. Oh, wait. Which one died? I, 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 I don't even know which one died. That's alright. I'll keep count after this battle. Maybe I'll just go on to the next battle. I'm not going to change my equipment at all because next battle is actually going to be even easier than this one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go into the next battle. Fort Zeke, this is the end of chapter one if I beat this match my first try, which I'm going to beat this match my first try. And if I don't, I'll send you all five dollars. You can just leave your address in the comments and I'll send you five dollars if I lose this match. Because I'm not going to lose this match. That's just the way it is. We'll go ahead and turn the frame limit off because I know there's going to be some talking at the beginning of this one. Basically, the uh, dude that I told you was a complete D-bag in the last video, yeah, he's still being the D-bag. Even now. But he won't be able to be a D-bag for much longer. The plot twists. Somehow the squire is working with your brother. The squire, who's not even a knight, who's a military cadet, is working with your brother as his right-hand man. You know, because there's no plot holes in that at all. A squire would be doing the bidding. I mean, I guess Zaldbag can be just doing it to, um, basically, so he ruins Algus's reputation, not his own. Boom! Right through the heart. You see, they don't care about Teta because she's not a noble. Like them, she's a commoner. So they will kill her in order to get to the, the criminal. That's a joke. <clears throat> Even back in the day. <sighs> My Ramza won't stand for that. Oh, but now he's going to, to go whoop like 50 dudes' asses because that Zaldbag, he has a chance against Wygraf. Dancers, eh, you know. Maybe if we had some poles to dance on, we could do some more damage because we can use them for physical attack, but we don't really have poles to do damage, so. Oh, yeah, he's mad. Animals are animals. He's calling commoners animals, and he's going to prove it to me? Ooh, the only thing he's going to prove is that he's a D-bag for sure. <clears throat> but this is going to be a really, really easy battle. All I'm going to do is hide behind the house and dance until everyone's dead. So there has been absolutely no challenge thus far in Chapter 1 with the dancers, like I said. Um, just because their speed is so bad that I just... What was in a bus actually does damage. Actually helps. They can go ahead and move first. Doesn't matter. Once I start activating dance, you're all dead. Delight is going to run up there. I'll probably get killed. But I'll just heal him with Ramza with my bard. And then I'll have the rest of my dancers kill everyone. Oh, I'll guess you put the D in two oosh bag. I could nameless song to try and silence those mages, but they're not going to live very long anyways. I guess I don't even have to heal Delighted, because I'm not going to... He's done as a guest after this battle, Delighted is, so... There's no point for me to even save him. Let him die. He's of no concern to me. Yeah, because, you know, what you're born into determines the quality of your character. At least back in the day, people used to think that. But we know that's not true, or at least I don't believe that to be true. Your birth, you don't, you're not a good person because of your birthright. You're a good person because of the things that you do in your life. Such an in-depth story, kind of. Eh, no need to move yet. The only things that have range are the mages and Algus, and the mages are going to run out of magic pretty quickly. And Algus has a crossbow, but I find myself completely unconcerned. 
Fire 2 is pretty big for this, this early in the game. Good thing he keeps auto-potioning. That's going to keep him alive a lot longer. That's why I gave it to him. I'm going to kill him and let the experience pile up. Mm. You know, if Kanye was playing this game. If Kanye was playing this game, he'd have hater blockers on. Hater shades. So, this is... this. The rest of this battle is just kind of an order of semantics. Unless I lose by some stretch of the imagination, then y'all get $5 from me. So that could end up setting me back quite a bit. Even though I have, like two viewers, so it really only sent me back like $10, which I'd probably be willing to give people anyways. Oh yeah, 10 damage now. We're breaking the double digit mark. Leveled up, level 15. Like I said, this battle is all semantics. It doesn't really mean anything at this point. It's going to be completely easy. It's the end of chapter one, so I'm going to I'm going to get into chapter two. Roms is going to get a new outfit. He's not going to have his his glorious butt pants yet. So you guys, all you guys who are waiting for the butt pants, you'll have to wait, and you'll have to keep watching. I can see a couple of battles in in chapter two that are going to be difficult. The next time I fight Wygraf is going to be pretty difficult, and I believe that's towards the end of chapter two. Um, the beginning of Chapter 2 shouldn't be... Well, no, actually, the end of Chapter 2 is a boss. The first, like, real boss. And I can see that being pretty difficult. But I think I'm just going to... I might have to reset a couple times, but I'm thinking I'm just going to run up to him and go pokey pokey with my knives. Because I'm pretty sure that bosses are immune to status ailments. I'm a traitor to my own knights. Like, literally, I'm the noble family that's in charge of the knights and I'm a traitor to them because I have self-respect and because I respect others because I have find myself able to empathize with commoners whew man good thing I wasn't alive back in the day sounds like a lot of drama to me he's already lost half of his health he's down to 47 he's never going to reach me the mages will be dead shortly I think they might use a potion on themselves yeah, well, okay, so they'll cast... He has, must have white magic as a secondary, so he's going to cast Cure on himself. Actually, it might be Cure 2 to Cure 41. That's quite a bit. And you're going to cast Haste on yourself, but that, <laughs> again, is silly. You're going to be dead. I'm such a baby. Don't pamper myself. Oh, Algus. Mm. He's lucky that I don't have any bard weapons yet because I really want to go over there and kill him with a harp. I want to bash him with a blunt object until he's bleeding out of the ears. Or until his brain's on the sidewalk. Curb stomp. Curb stomp Algus. So now he's pissed at me too. He's coming after me? No way. You got no chance. You're all the way over there. And you're dead. Well, you're on the ground. couple more rounds of this and everybody's dead. Ooh, unless he keeps auto-potioning. Still doesn't mean much. I'll just go over there and pokey-pokey him. Both of the mages are down before they could heal themselves. Knights are about to be down. About one more volley and they'll be done. And I'm just keep increasing my damage. Goofer Vag's damage went up by one. And it's a trap missed, and so it must have been Maryland's damage who also went up by one. Let's see, what other issues have I seen in the news today? 
Not really any. I mean, I could tell you about my personal problems, but no one gives a shit about my personal problems. So let's face it, this is a let's play. You guys want to see me killing people with dancers. You want to see how effective pole dancing is at making money and killing people. Strippers. Also good for assassins. Strippers make excellent assassins. Unfortunately, makes him very strong that he is capable of auto potioning. <clears throat> At least for me, because I can't do enough damage that auto potion won't. I can't do enough damage that auto potion actually that he doesn't get healed from auto potion. So I've got to just I've got to get lucky with probability. I wonder what his brave is. Like I said, uh, support abilities are like counter abilities in this game. So he's only got 32 Brave, which is terrible, so only 30% of the time is Auto Potion going to activate. I'm sure Probability will get him here shortly. Only one out of every three, and I'm doing more than 10 damage each time now, so it's going to be, he'll be dead shortly. He's going to go ahead and kill Delida again. And then he's going to sit there, he's going to take it. He's going to take it like a bitch. Oh no, he's coming towards me. See, now what I can do is I'll just hide behind the building when he comes over here. I'll stab him to death. A good strategy in this game is always to wait for your enemies to come to you because you're going to get extra moves on them. Because when you wait, you're timer doesn't completely reset, it only goes to like 50 out of 100. Whereas if you act and then, if you act but don't move and wait, then you get like 25, but if you act and move, then you're going to start from zero. So it's better to wait for them to come to you, to, till they get in your attack range, and then you sneak up on them and get them. Which is exactly what I'm going to do here. if he even lasts through this, because this should kill him if he doesn't auto-potion. Well, no, he might be left with one or two health. I think he had just a little bit over 60. 61. Well, but I'm doing over 10 damage, so yeah, this should end it. If he doesn't auto-potion here. And so, that's the end of chapter one, guys. I'll let you, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you here so you can watch the awesome graphics that this PlayStation 1 game had. And I, I'm sure that you guys love me recording in 1080p so that you can get a 480p game in 1080p. Actually, the, <laughs> I even have the emulator, like, smoothing the sprites and things, which, I mean, it causes some of the graphical error, graphical glitches I have here. But I, 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 it has better graphics than it did when it was originally on PlayStation, let's say that. Or at least it should if the smooth sprites or anything are working correctly. Unfortunately, when you stretch it to 1080p instead of 480p, then the graphics get kind of messed up. Look at those graphics. That's some hell. That's a hell of an explosion. That's better than I see in the movies. I wish movies had this kind of graphics for explosion. Look at that. Look at that. Don't you wish movies had those kind of graphics for explosions? That is the end of chapter one, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue my dancer SEC, and this should be the end of episode two. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good.